of the Morning Sound Alternative on this, the first day of our fall membership drives. Thanks for joining us. We can only do this with your support. Let us know that you want to be a part of this community. We need your help, though. You can help. Call now. In the face of a struggling economy and changing technology, media agencies of all types have been going through challenges and obstacles in carrying out their task in the media field. Some could not survive and tragically collapsed. Basically what happened was the media was in this incredible state of change. Um, it had been very slow to embrace the internet and it was getting killed by places like Craigslist with their online advertising. And what happened then is a recession hit, so everything accelerated for the media. There's a real crisis in public radio with not enough um, income coming in. Uh, from the different sources. Uh, the government's share of budgets for most of public radio stations has been declining for many, many years. There's been a, a steady trajectory down, reducing the amount of money. This is a time for journalists to be both scared and probably almost, in a sense, eager to see what the next generation of journalism is going to be about. This is KGNU, a public radio station in Boulder, Colorado. We are here to find answers for our questions. How they deal with the recession, with the new technology, with the young generation. KGNU is an independent, non-commercial community radio These countries station. countries that you've just been visiting, Lebanon and... We mentioned the... Uh, KGNU broadcasts a diverse mix of music, news and information 24 hours a day. The first aired was in May 1976. KGNU has some financial issues that aren't related to the recession. You know, we, we have, we're trying to do three things right now within our budget. One is pay to run the station, you know, the operating budget. Two is pay off debt on uh, signal acquisition that we undertook five years ago when we purchased an AM frequency in Denver. We still owe a lot of money on that, and so we have loan payments to make for that. And then we're also in the midst of a capital project to upgrade Tomorrow, our FM frequency. Uh, we saw an opening about a uh, year and a half, almost two years ago, to increase the FM power, uh, which is something we wanted to do for our entire history. In order to do that, uh, we needed a new transmitter and an expensive new antenna. So we're raising money for that and trying to complete that project by the end of this year. Whether you're into music, the revolution games. of the technology the and the new generation. It is not like the old days, picturing people in home, listening to series, or to the press by the president. You know, KGNU for the last several years has been challenged by more competition, you know, and that competition comes from several radio stations in the area, but also from the internet. There's a whole, I think, probably two generations now of young adults who probably have grown up not thinking about radio as a delivery system for audio. You know, uh, it's not even in their minds, many of them. It's, it's the Internet. And so we have to be there to serve them and to let them know that we have amazing music programming and in-depth local issue discussions and... Uh, all the many things we offer. KG New Radio Station working to increase the base of the listeners. We have been granted the uh, permission by the FCC to increase our wattage at our FM transmitter. We currently broadcast at 1300 watts at 88.5 FM and they've granted us uh, permission to increase that to 3000 watts with a little bit of a caveat that um, we have to buy a special antenna for the FM transmitter so that this 3,000 watts does not reach into a certain part of uh, Estes Park. Um, but uh, with hope this uh, power increase will allow us to uh, reach more people with our stereo FM uh, broadcast at 88.5 FM, get further into Denver, further south, further north, so more people will be able to hear us. KGNU has six full-time 
staff members and more than 230 volunteers who program and administrate the station, on air and off air. We ask them, what's the reason behind being a volunteer and why they want to support public radios in particular? I like being able to give back to the community in some way. See, I've been disabled for in collecting a disability check for 19 years, and this is one way that I give back a little bit. Well, I think uh, public broadcasting is very, very important. Uh, the reason is it gives another voice other than the commercial media voice. We're completely uninfluenced uh, by any commercial support. And I feel like multiple media has been getting less and less newsworthy, so people are now voting for their elected officials and stuff based on a TV commercial or a soundbite. And the one thing I get to do here is we get in-depth, and, and you actually find out about the politicians and stuff in the news department and get to bring that to the local community more than they would before they vote on just a 30-second commercial bite. As a public community and non-commercial station, KJA News membership are the largest and major financial income to the station. We have five major revenue categories. Membership, which is the people who call in during our on-air fundraising drives and contribute as individuals to the station. That's the largest share of money. Um, that's the majority of our budget comes from individual listener member gifts. That is um, at least holding steady. It's not growing and we would like it to be growing. So we have some people who have called up and canceled their memberships because they lost their jobs and they can't afford it. But we have other people who are coming in as new members and you know as I say it's basically holding steady. We wish it was growing but at least it's not declining, right? In this, in this environment we're happy to be at least holding steady with membership. What, what do you, what yeah, do you just right, like to listen to? Though. I'm just saying email him. The other major fund categories are the business underwriting declined 50 percent, the special event declined 40 percent, major giving declined 10 percent, the private foundation declined 60 percent. Well, I couldn't hear the rest of it. You should get an email confirming So what she's doing? So how's it going so far? It's going very well today, yeah. yeah. So have you gotten any calls or so far? Yeah, or? Uh, probably about four calls so far. Four calls? Yeah. I see. So how much did you get? Uh, I would say probably in the region of about 400 so far. So how was it? So you far? know, it's been great. It's been great? Right. I thought we were having a recession here, no? No, we got bagels. <laughs> we got <very> good. <laughs> so, uh, like, how did you get? How much did you get? You know, I just got a two hundred dollar call from a very generous listener. Two hundred. Two hundred. Uh huh. So, so far, are you optimistic? You're gonna get more? I think we're just starting here. It's the first morning, so we're doing great. We have, we have loyal listeners.